If you think you got the truth, you don't need to think. If you think anything goes, hey, just anything goes. You don't, don't have to think about it at all. And I think a more reasoned approach is to realize that we're all fallible, all of our points of view should be up for discussion, and then maneuver our way through the circumstances and situations in our own lives. And having done that, I, I say, okay, then let's see how this applies to uh, one religion, namely Christianity. And so the second part of the book is an attempt to show how mystery matters. Basically, how does it m matter in our ways of thinking about God? How does it d make a difference in our ways of thinking about Jesus, about heaven and hell, about sin and salvation, about whether or not we have a soul? I think all of those central Christian concepts can be fruitfully discussed without thinking that they have to take a fundamentalist approach in order to be a Christian. Uh, and then the third part of the book, I try to take these ideas and consider how do they relate to other important concepts in our life, whether that's love, whether it's power, whether it's justice, whether it's the tension between being an individual and being a member of community. Uh, and then the last part of the book, I try to explain why all this matters and that's how I bring into the picture this notion of the dangers that we're confronting and why we need to move past and beyond dogmatism.